Hello everyone and thanks for joining. So in this particular video we are going to understand about the Spark architecture and this is very much important from my interview perspective also. You should know about the basic of the Spark architecture and also this kind of the question generally you will see in an interview also. Okay, so that actually we are going to discuss in this particular video. So let us start with the Spark. So in previous video we have understand what is Spark. Spark is nothing but a, it is a general purpose in memory computation engine. We try to process our data in a RAM. That's why it is a faster than a map reduce. That's already we have discussed in a previous video. Okay, now let us try to understand about the Spark architecture, how actually it works. Okay, so Spark also follow the master slave kind of the architecture. You can see we have a master node and we have a multiple worker node, right? So it also follow the master slave kind of the architecture. Okay, and you can see we have a cluster manager. What is this cluster? Cluster is nothing but a group of machine. Okay, so that is nothing but a cluster. Cluster manager is nothing but a, it will try to manage your resources. Okay, so that is the use of the cluster manager. Now let us try to understand how actually the whole thing works okay so generally you will be having a code and application okay generally you will be having a code or application and it can be your uh, python code or it can be your jar file okay uh, and through which actually you want to execute your code okay so how actually it works let us try to understand you can see in a master node we have a driver program right so let us try to understand one by one okay what is the use of this driver program okay so it will call main method of your application of your application application or code you can say and create a spark context okay so what is the use of this uh, driver program it will call a main method of your application and it will create a spark context you can see in uh, after driver program we have a spark context right so this driver program only will create a spark context so in java right we know right whenever we you write a code okay the execution will start from a main method only right so similarly this driver program will call a main method of your application or code and also it will create a spark context okay now let us try to understand what is spark context okay what this spark context will do it will interact with with spark spark application okay what spark context will do it will try to interact with your spark application okay now you can see we also have a cluster manager right okay all the this cluster manager right so driver will request he need a resources to execute the code okay so driver will request a resources okay driver will request a cluster manager need a resources to execute the code okay so this cluster manager will give all the information where the nodes are available and where we can execute our code okay so cluster manager resource allocation resource allocation information this cluster manager will be having okay where actually we can execute our code so that is the use of this cluster manager okay now once we have a information about the resources where actually we can execute our code this spark context you can see we have a spark context right this will send code plus data into that particular node okay what this spark context will do if you have a information in this particular worker node the resources are available where actually we can execute this spark context will send the code plus data into that particular node and it will try to execute the code and it will try to process the code okay once it will process it will send back the result to the spark context so that is how actually it works okay the first step is like driver program will call a main method and it will create a spark context okay spark context will interact with the cluster manager it will interact with the spark application okay cluster manager will be having a information about the resources okay once we get the resource uh, information spark context will send the code and data into that particular node and it will try to process and it will send back the result to the spark context so that is how the spark architecture works i hope you got it we will try to discuss more about the dag how actually the dag works and all more about the architecture in the next video that's it in this video. thank you